In this physics demonstration, I have a turntable. The turntable can rotate in a circle about its axis, and clamped down to the turntable is a wooden 2x4, and secured to the wooden 2x4 are two glass jars. These glass jars are filled with water, and inside the water is an orange cork. The cork is tied by a string to the lid of the jar. The jar is inverted upside down, and the cork is floating within the water. What I'm going to do is spin this turntable. When I do, the jars and the water and the cork inside the jars are going to begin to move in a circle. What we know about objects moving in circles is they experience an inward force and an inward acceleration. Now what's going to happen here is the object that has the most inertia inside the jar is going to be the object that resists the acceleration the most. And that happens to be the water. On a per milliliter basis, it has the most mass, and thus it has the most inertia, and it resists that acceleration the most. The cork, on the other hand, resists the acceleration the least. Therefore, the cork's going to lean in the direction of the acceleration, giving us evidence of that big idea in physics, that objects that move in circles experience an inward or a centripetal acceleration. Here we go. There you see it. The corks are leaning towards the center of the circle. The water is resisting that acceleration the, le the most. The cork resists the least. You have inwards acceleration as evidenced by that inwards lean of the cork. You've got to believe in physics. <laughs>